Uh, hi, uh, my name is Deli Wang. I'm in the EC department. So today I'm happy to be here to talk to you about the, some of the new uh, uh, low-cost, flexible EEG patch that we are doing. Uh, so EEG is the uh, FDA-approved class two devices that has been in, uh, extensively used for clinic application, uh, including uh, so uh, diagnosis of uh, seizures, uh, seizure for in, for example, uh, absent seizure or tonal uh, uh, chronic seizures, coma, uh, uh, encephalopathy. That means to say the the syndrome of this uh, global brain dysfunction or brain death. Sorry for this. Uh, monitoring the brain function of for this uh, as a research tool for this uh, uh, the uh, uh, neuroscience or, or psychologies. So the the conventional uh, EEG device is is it's bulky. Um, it, it's bulky and uh, uncomfortable. So uh, it, it, although it has uh, the advantages of very low cost, uh, so uh, has the good uh, very good. Uh, Temporal resolution, but it has poor spatial resolution. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, uncomfortable. So, so, what our idea is, we have a uh, uh, flexible, uh, uh, low cost, uh, this uh, banded type of uh, EEG patch that we can use, for example, apply to this non hair region uh, behind the ear that uh, can collect signal constantly monitor the, the brain uh, uh, activity that send the signal to the cell phone for the uh, point of care uh, devices. Uh, so these, uh, scientifically, this is based on uh, one of my, my uh, our colleague, Ziping Zhang, at this Swartz Center for Compu Computational uh, Neuroscience. What they did is they, they used this uh, 256 electrode recording system that map the brain activity, specifically, they were marrying this so-called uh, the steady state visual uh, evoked uh, uh, potential, uh, uh, looking at the TV screen, uh, have this uh, flicker, and then monitoring the brain signal. So the, the, the key thing is to say the, the region weighs here, which on the top of this scope, uh, uh, and, and the region weighs out the hair, so they have this, the, the same uh, uh, monitoring, uh, have this same position, same monitoring of the signal, but uh, although the, 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 the strength is low. So uh, in order to do that, so uh, to do the patch, so we have this EEG design, so have this electrode connect signals through this amplifier, uh, the bandpass filter, AT2 converter, and the uh, wireless tra transmitter. So we want to do all this using printed technology, specifically uh, based on this uh, uh, carbon nanotube FETs that we can print uh, the uh, uh, the uh, OPAM, and I also had a lot of work on this uh, RF uh, retinas uh, and antennas. Um, we also had a lot of work on printed uh, electrodes, so this is uh, uh, silver, silver chloride printed uh, electrode will have good conductivity. We also had work on this uh, high density electron, uh, I mean, nanowire array based electrode. This is uh, transferred to flexible electrode. So we are hoping that we can use this electrode that incre increase the EEG sensitivity, uh, particularly in the spatial resolution. So uh, uh, currently we are working on the, the uh, printing all the functional devices. Thank you very much.